Right, uh, I guess we'll start with personnel. Uh, Manning was out there today, so that's an encouraging sign. Uh, the halfway through plan, or? it was, yeah, yeah. The uh, it was a surprise for me actually that he was here today. I thought maybe it would be another day, but he's feeling better. Get on the ice for half of the practice. That was the plan, and. Uh, you know, see where he, where he goes after today, and hopefully he's back on for a full practice tomorrow. Was it the same thing he was battling last week? It's an illness? Or? Yeah, it's an illness, yeah. There's no injury, it's just an illness. And I uh, went to the doctor yesterday and basically gave him the green light about a couple of things that we were concerned about, and uh, he's feeling better. Sure. Uh, we got, uh, I wanted to ask just kind of like a, a fun thing, that three-on-two thing you had doing there. Did I hear you from afar right? What was, what was the prize there for, for winning that one? Well, it can be it can be di different things. I think the prize is going to be uh, stopping at Dairy Queen or uh, or a Starbucks to get a coffee as we leave on Thursday. Oh, okay, okay. For, so for the road trip, it's not going to hurt too much, too many people financially too much. Sure. A couple bucks only. Sure. Um, so the guys who are out there getting extra work at the end of practice. Uh, was there any anything in particular there? I saw like, yeah, Shannon Wildwood out there. I think you guys were doing one timers for a little bit. Or... Yeah, no, that's the one at the end. The other end is. Uh, you know, Shannon McGinn, those guys well with they're out there on their own just doing okay. some extra work. At the other side, I've got, uh, you know, the two young guys that are more out of the lineup in the last uh, little while. We're trying to get Conan up and running here through his injury, and so we're just getting some extra skating on that. Sure. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, Zach Ronaldo's play thus far this season. Um, you know, if you look at his stats last year, you know, the, he had played like a, in a limited role kind of in Philadelphia. Here, you know, he, he's getting basically, he winds up being about double the amount of ice time he got last year in Philadelphia, and that's something that's only going to help him, it seems. Well, that's the, uh, you know, that's the great thing about the lockout for for the young players that played in Philadelphia in the NHL the last year or two, that they're able to come down and and work at their game, get better at their game, push the, push the level of play to the next level. And uh, Zach is a player here that... You know, for us, he's a, he's a very important player. He has a presence. He's he's a physical guy. I think he he can rush the opposition into making plays before they really want to and create some turnovers, loose pucks. And on the other part of it, on the power play, he does a great job in front of the net. Uh, you know, he, he knows how to play that position. He's doing the right stuff, and uh, we're scoring some goals on it. So I'm hoping at the end of the day, when he when the league starts up, that he's able to. You know, grow his minutes in Philadelphia and the NHL and become more of a contributor in a, in a lot of different situations. Have you talked to him at all about about that, you know, kind of what you're hoping to see out of him down here as, sure. as one of the NHL guys? Yeah, sure have. You know, that's before the... As soon as we come down here from Philadelphia, break in the training camp in Philly and continue here, that was the conversation that we had, that here's what I see as a role, here's what I would like to see as far as improvement in your game and become a player that's going to play with the Flyers and, you know, buy those 12, 13 valuable minutes at the NHL level. And I think whenever you expand your role as a player today and... Uh, you know, from from a man who's a high energy only, uh, you know, he's a he's a physical player. He, he can take care of himself and take care of his teammates. But when you start to expand that role to be able to play on special teams, kill some penalties, now you're becoming a real valuable commodity, and it's it's good for the team. It's good for you. Yeah. The guys who uh, I was actually looking this up. The guys who like. Ten fighting majors and ten goals, kind of like a, a barometer. Guys who can both score well and fight well. There are only three guys in the entire National Hockey League who did that last year, and like it's winds up being like six or seven in the AHL. So for all of you can get to that point and just play a complete game, you're, as you're saying, he does make himself very valuable. No, well, he does. Yeah, I mean, it, the one thing about Zach that we've seen throughout his time with the Flyers is he's a team player. Right. He, he's always there to do the job that's required to support teammates and stand up for teammates and you know what I don't know about the 10 majors right. that, that's a lot of majors in the game right. today if you do that in junior hockey today you're suspended so right. um, it's it's not a, it's a matter of competing hard and doing the right things the the other part of the game will fall in place if you you know if you play with, with the structure with the system you get on the four check, your hits will come. You don't have to go anywhere, out of your way to hunt people down. Right. And um, that's the same with the, on the uh, physical side of it, the fighting side of it. You know, that's just, that'll happen. So you don't have to go look for it, but if you continue to play more minutes per game and you're playing hard and physical, 
uh, you're going to score goals. You're going to be your your value was up to to the team, and uh, on the other side of it, probably will stay in place anyway. Sure. So the first, you know, through the first nine nine games of the season, you know, overall the role that you, you want him to play, he, has he done a good job? At what, what yeah, I think so. I okay. think Zach has done a very good job. You know, I've moved him up right now to the second line with uh, with Shen. Uh, not that I'm into numbering lines so much, but. Um, that line does play a little more minute than 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 other lines. So along with Couturier, that line, those two lines play more minutes and more critical situations and matching up against the better lines in the opposition. So it's a more of a responsible role, and uh, I think that's that's what I'm saying to him. I like what you're doing. I like the awareness you have, uh, uh, and I like the way you're bringing any energy to the game. So uh, there's a little bit of a reward, and uh, and again, I think it, it'll all pay for. For good dividends here down the road. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. Um, you had the power play going again today. Um, you know, obviously, you've said before that something's always going to get work, but um, you mentioned at one point the difference between kind of throwing it at the end and really making a point to focus on it in the middle. Um, is that just still part of the process of getting that power play to where you want it to be? It is. Uh, you know what? That really never goes away. But when you when you do put the practice into it at, before you start the team practice or early in the team practice like we did today, then that's a big focus. And it's not just moving the puck around. We're looking at to work at it, to to build on the structure and the, and the, the look that we want to get on a consistent basis. And at the same time, when you have good ice like that, the, the puck is moved cleaner, faster, and the penalty kill players are you know now trying to do the right thing also so uh, it pushes the power play to the next level in practice and that's a good thing you've talked a lot about the learning process with the players and the systems and so forth I think from a fans perspective hey they, they've all been here for a month everybody knows what they're doing by now but really it seems like from your perspective that's the furthest thing from the truth there's a lot of learning still to be done it is, it, it, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of hesitancy in our game still because you're thinking, and that's what I want to take out of the game. I don't want the I don't want to. What do I do? Or here's what I do here. I want instinctive play, and that takes time. That might take. Uh, you know, I can go back to the even to the NHL teams that I've had. That might take three quarters of the season in order to get uh, some parts of the structure in place. And uh, this, these guys, I think, in the last few days, though, have moved forward very quickly. The the. The, the effort the other night was uh, very positive and, and to understand that you need to play the game at a certain pace is a big stepping stone and hopefully we can bring it back to the game again next game. Right. Great, thank you. Okay. Thanks,